Okay, so let's go back to the first tab, the way you enter a budget, just to get some data in the system so we can generate a budget. As you go to the cog up top, and then we've got our budgeting, which is right here. So we go to our budgeting, and then it says add your first budget. So we're going to say, all right, no budgets have been added. I'm going to add one up right here, right now. This is going to be, I'll just call it budget number one. You could have multiple budgets if you want to be running multiple budgets. And then we've got the fiscal year, uh, January through December, and so on. So we could do it for 2022, 2023. Let's run it for 2022 because I want to be able to do comparative data with it as well. So I'm going to populate that. And then when I, when I run the reports, in other words, I'd like to have some data that's in the system so I can run a report that will have a comparison between actual and the budget. And then the intervals, the, the standard intervals are probably monthly, but you could do it quarterly and yearly as well. And then you could try to pre-fill the data. So I could say, take the actual data from 2022 and populate it. This might be useful if you were then to enter this data for 2023, this being your starting point. Now, again, if you were a bookkeeper and you're saying, hey, I'm just going to make a generic budget based on the information I have, the past data, you could do this, right? You can make, you can say, okay, I'm just going to make a budget based on last year's stuff. And then you've got your budget, but it's not entirely, it's not that helpful if, if you're not changing it for projections into the future, because you could always run a comparative income statement if you're looking at actual data for the current period to the prior period. So you could already, you could already run a lot of reports that would compare like the current year to the prior year. So what you really want in the budget isn't just like the prior year data in it. What you would like is the prior year data that has then been altered for changes that you're making into the future, which means you need management involved and not just the accounting department. You might be both, you might be wearing both hats, but you need, you need, the, you need that added kind of component in it to make it a, a real budget that's going to give you uh, a lot more information. And then you can, you can break it down by subdividing it by customer, but I'm not going to subdivide it at this point in time. And so there's going to be our, our baseline information. You can see what we have on the left-hand side is just basically an income statement. So we've got our income statement. It populated the actual data from, I'm imagining it would have been the prior year, but I put the 2022 stuff in it uh, as our starting point. And this would help us to generate our budget. So let's hope, let's let's pretend we just are gonna gonna change this a bit. So I clicked on the create a budget down here, and now we have the capacity to to make adjustments to this data. So let's say let's say like in here I change it to you know a thousand or something. Now I could once I'm in there I could like copy it across like that if I so choose. And then let's change this one. Let's change this all the way across. I'll put this as like, like 300. And then I'll put my cursor on that and copy it across. And then let's just do a couple more of these. Let's make this like 500. And I'll copy this across. And then let's make this one like uh, 200. And then I'll copy that across. There it goes. And then I'll go down here and just say a couple of these. Could I change a couple of these? Now it kind of saves that line. That's a little bit of annoying that it does the way it does that, but no big deal. We'll talk more about the data input later. 400. Let's copy that across and just do maybe this one. I'm just going to put, I'm just going to put in here. Let's do this one. Let's put 200 and just copy that across. So now we've got at least something in the budget. Let's go ahead and save the budget and then look at the reports that would be generated from the budget. So I'm going to close this back out 